Hello everyone and welcome back to another Slap Battles video and today we are going to be going over how to get all the achievement gloves in Slap Battles again. Now I know I already did a video on this earlier but I did make some mistakes on that video that I would like to fix. In addition to that there are also a bunch of new gloves that I did not cover because that video is old so I'm also going to be covering the new gloves that are out that I didn't cover in the previous video. So if you guys are excited for that, and if this video helps you out, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to, you can even subscribe, helps me out. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So up first we got Acrobat. It's not really an achievement glove, but all you have to do is the Slap Battles group to get this glove. Uh, it's pretty simple. I'll have a link to the Slap Battles group in the description if that makes it easier for you. So just click the link in the description. It'll take you to the group. Join the group and then you should have this glove. Fr easy peasy squeezy lemon. Next up we've got the Mega Rock and this one requires you to own the Y badge. The Y badge requires you to be a rock for 10 hours straight. Yep, 10 hours straight. It's uh, pretty simple, yet it also is very time consuming. So uh, I hope I hope you didn't have any plans for the weekend because this is going to take up your whole weekend if you keep getting kicked from the game for being AFK. But not to worry, if you put something on your keyboard, if you're on a computer, like your arrow key, you can have your camera turn around like this and then you shouldn't be kicked for being AFK unless the server gets shut down by the developer, then that would suck. But you know, that doesn't, Hopefully that doesn't happen to you. <laughs> if you're on console, you can probably put something on your controller to do it. Do it, Or if you hook up a keyboard to your console, you can also do the same thing. If you're on mobile, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I'm sure there's a way. You, you'll, you'll figure it out. The next glove is the Plague Glove, and this one is also pretty simple. Become Infected. Now, the way you get infected is by getting slapped by someone who has the Plague Glove. You should see a decent amount of people with the Plague Glove walking around, and if you really want to become infected, you could also ask in the chat, and I'm sure there are almost a ton of people in the server already have the glove, and they'll be willing to slap you and get, and get you the badge. Pretty easy. Hollow Jack is Halloween exclusive, so I won't be going over how to get this one, but I will make a video on how to get it when the Halloween event comes back, if this is obtainable. If this is obtainable this upcoming Halloween, I'll make a video on how to get this, so make sure to stay tuned for that, which is maybe another reason why you should subscribe. That would be pretty neat. Next up, we've got the Redacted Badge. This one requires you to have 5,000 slaps to get it, so if you don't have five, if you have less than 5,000 slaps, Try not to you try not to get this one because yeah uh, you will not get the badge if you have less than five thousand slaps. Basically, the redacted glove puts down a portal. You go into the portal and you get sucked into a dimension that has a bunch of doors, but only one door is the escape door. If you find the right escape door and you have over five thousand slaps, you get the glove. Pretty simple. The next achievement glove is the bus glove. And this one requires you to own the to the moon badge. Now the slap requirement for this glove is technically 1,500 slaps because you need to use the space glove to obtain this badge and you cannot use the space glove unless you have 1,500 slaps. Getting the bus glove is also pretty easy. You just have to get hit by a bus and then use the zero gravity right when you're about to get hit by the bus and then if you get hit by the bus while you have the zero gravity active, you will get absolutely launched for one. Because I mean, come on, you're getting hit by a bus with zero gravity. So obviously you're going to get launched. I mean, what else did you think was going to happen? But also you get the bus badge, which will give you access to the bus glove. So that's pretty cool. The bus glove is really annoying. I like it and I'm sure you'll like it too. It de definitely a keeper. The next achievement glove is the Mitten Glove. Now this one is a Christmas exclusive glove, which obviously isn't obtainable right now, but if it comes back this upcoming Christmas, I will definitely make a video on how to get that one too. So make sure to stick around and stick around for that video when it's the holidays, and I will definitely make a video on how to get that glove. And then the next one, we've got the Phase Glove. Now the Phase Glove is a bit harder to get it's more of a luck based one you cannot get this one in a private server 
but there's no slap requirement for it, so you can get it at any level, young, old, super old, I don't know, e easy. So basically, you are looking for a purple orb that will spawn around the middle somewhere. Just imagine, just imagine with me that there's a purple orb right in front of me. It, if you're the first one to pick up the purple orb, the orb will disappear, and then you will get this glove. It's pretty simple, except the only difficult thing is it's kind of rare, it doesn't appear that often, and you have to be the first one to pick up the orb. If someone else picks up the orb before you, you're gonna have to wait again to pick it up. So just, the orb will spawn, should spawn somewhere in the middle, you should just go grab it, boom, bada bing, bada boom. You you have obtained the glove, and now you can do the funny the funny memes. Next up is the warp glove, and this one can be kind of difficult to get, but at least there's not that high of a slap requirement, so it's it's not that difficult. So basically, you're gonna need to use the swapper glove, which you get at 420 slaps. Pretty simple. So basically what you need to do to obtain this glove is to save someone from dying in the void and then die in their place. Like this. This... So you could do something like that like I just did where you slap them off and then you switch places with them to save them. That will work. So and that's that's how you get the... That's how you get the warp glove pretty simple it can be difficult at, at times because sometimes you swap to someone in the middle so i would recommend doing this on a one of the side islands so that way there's less people to teleport to that'll just make it a little easier and you know it's nice nice and clean that way oh and you're going to need the warp glove for the next glove which is the short fuse glove so basically to get the short fuse glove you're going to need to use the warp glove that you just got from doing the previous the previous achievement so basically what you're going to do is you got to teleport to someone who's about to die in the void and then die with them however there is an easier way to do it if you use the warp button right before dying like i just did that should give you the badge and you won't teleport to anyone so if you time the ability just right you'll die and and the ability will be used and yeah it's so this one is, so that one is kind of cheesable. Now the bubble glove is one of the more difficult ones to get, and if you don't like difficulty, then uh, this one might not be for you. Although it is a lot easier in a private server. The Harbinger of Death Badge, you have to get 10 kills without dying with the Reaper glove, and you become big and scary, and it, it, it's a whole thing, and then you get a badge at 10 kills, and then you're, you're also quite strong. It's a... It's like a mini kill streak glove, pretty much. Get 10 kills without dying, Reaper glove. It's pretty straightforward. And the kill streak, 250 kills is very difficult on a public server. So that's why I would highly suggest doing this on a private server with some friends or some randoms who are willing to help you because you can't uh, kill duplicate anymore. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to knock people into the void one by one until you eventually get to 250 kills, which is super difficult. I would highly recommend not doing that on a public server because it is it is very difficult to do. The next glove is the jet glove, which gives you the beautiful tactical airstrike ability glove thingamajiggy. That also looks like lava, so you know, Airstrike Pale for Lava Glove. I mean, that's pretty rad, dude. Anyways, it's basically the same as the Phase Glove, where you're going to be going... You're going to be looking for a red orb instead of a purple orb on the map. Except, it's a little easier to see when it's coming, because a plane will drive will drive by and dro drop it out of the sky. See, the orb will look like this. It falls out of the sky, and you want to grab it. And if you're the first one to grab it, you get the badge. Boom, easy airstrike. The next glove is the shard glove, which you have to own the firefighter badge to obtain. Basically, you're gonna be using the snow glove to freeze overkills. So if you slap an overkill user with them, their glove will be extinguished and they their glove won't be nearly as powerful anymore. And if you slap five of them in less than a minute without dying, you get the you get the badge. It's 
pretty chill, pretty groovy, pretty gaming. It can be kind of hard though, because overkills are dangerous because they do one-shot you. That's why it's also easier to do on a private server as well. But you know, you can always try to do it on a public server if you crave a challenge. The potato glove is the next glove on our list. And this one has a slap requirement of 5,500 slaps because you need to use the reverse glove to get it. Basically, you're gonna use the Uno reverse glove to Uno reverse a bubble. So how to do that is you just use the Uno reverse glove ability, run into the bubble, and then they get bubbled and you know, you get the badge. Pretty easy, pretty simple. I would demonstrate it, but I don't run into bubble users that often. So it's kind of it's difficult to show off. I'm sorry, M maybe later. The Colt Glove requires you to have the Potato Glove. So, for starters, if you don't know where the Potato Glove is, you're going to go to the default only arena, and you're going to go right here, and it's located on this island, you know, right here, big chilling. So you're going to click it, and you're going to get the potato, and then you just want to jump into the void. And once you jump into the void, you should have the glove equipped it, and then it's big chill. Basically, you're going to give someone a hot potato. You give people hot potatoes by slapping them. So you just want to give a bunch of people hot potatoes. And basically, they need to pass the hot potato back to you, and you need to die to your own hot potato. So, you know, it, it's kind of a whole, you know, karma kind of thing, you know. Like, you, you give them a potato, and then, and then you get the potato back, and you die, you know. There you go. Next one is the Bob Badge, and this one is pretty hard to get. Now I want to clear something, I want to clear something up that I said in the last video. Uh, last video I said the chance to get Bob was like 1 in 100,000 chance. I'm pretty sure that's actually wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a lot lower than that. I'm not entirely sure what the chance is, but I think it's somewhere between 1 in 2,000 and 1 in 10,000 chance. So basically, to get the Bob Glove, you're going to equip this replica glove at 4,000 slaps. So you're going to need 4,000 slaps to get the Bob Glove. Basically, all you need to do to get Bob is to use the ability. And then there will be a very small chance when you use the ability to spawn in Bob. And then Bob will consume someone. And then, and then once Bob consumes someone, you will get the Bob Badge and you'll be able to spawn Bob whenever you please. And, you know, Bob likes friends, so you should help him help him get some friends and spawn in some Bobs. So yeah, this one is kind of hard to get because it is a very low chance. You're just going to have to keep using this ability and then eventually you'll get it. Um, I don't have it yet either, and I've used this glove quite a lot, so it is pretty rare. But don't be discouraged because I know a lot of people who have gotten it. So it's definitely possible. It's definitely not too difficult. It's just rare. So you might get it. You might not get it. Who knows? Next up, we got the Buddies Badge, which you need to own the Touch of Midas Badge. The Touch of Midas isn't that difficult to get. You need 2,500 slaps to for this one, because you will be using the Golden Glove for this one. So what the Golden Glove ability does is it makes you invincible and makes your attacks more powerful for a small, for a short duration. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a big group of people to use this ability on and you're going to jump into a bunch of people and then try to slap five people before your ability wears off and then you get the friendship badge. <laughs> and then if you slap five of them before your ability wears off, you get the badge. Pretty simple. Okay, and the next glove is the Moon Glove. And you need to own the Easy Badge to get it. So basically, the Easy Badge is you have to win a tournament. If you don't know what a tournament is, basically every once in a while, a thing will show up on your screen. It'll ask if you want to do a tournament. And if you win the tournament, you get 100 slaps. And you, you want to click Yes to join the tournament. And then once you win the tournament, you get the badge pretty simple and the next one is the jupiter glove which you need to own the deaf dodger badge to get the deaf dodger badge just means you have to survive a hit from the god hand 
and you can actually get this with the moon glove they might have fixed it but when i got it basically the moon glove gives you low gravity and if the god hand hits you you just fly for so long that by the time you die you get the badge pretty simple don't die to the god hand and you will get the badge simple the next two achievement gloves are the spy glove and the detonator glove now these two gloves are extremely difficult to get so unless you are a pro at slap battles i would not recommend trying to get these but you can always try if you want to get the spy glove you need to get 10 kills and win battle royale so you need to win a battle royale game with 10 or more kills and for the detonator glove you need to win a battle royale game with 15 or more kills now the reason that's hard is because 10 or more kills that's like one third of the lobby so you need to beat one third of the lobby and win so you have to you have to be really good to get that and then 15 kills is literally half of the lobby because there's 30 people per battle royale game so you literally need to kill half of the lobby or more to get that so it's pre pretty intense and if for some reason you don't know where the battle how to play battle royale it's this yellow portal right here right next to the normal arena you will need 1000 slaps to play it the next one is the rage glove and this one's pretty self-explanatory to get the rage glove you need to kill a kill streak that has 50 or more kills with a default glove Basically, you're going to use the default glove and you're going to try to slap a kill streak off the edge that has 50 or more kills. This can be kind of difficult, but you can also obtain this in a private server, I'm pretty sure. So that makes it a bit easy if you have a friend that's willing to help you get it. So basically, if you're doing it on a private server, all you need to do is have your friend kill you 50 times with the kill streak glove. And once he has 50 kills, you can knock him off with the default glove and then you'll get the badge pretty simple if you do it on a private server it's a little harder it's a little harder to do on a public server but you do see kill streaks quite often usually unless you're playing on no one shots so you, you never know you might get lucky one day and do it on a public server the next one is the trap glove and this one is actually a pain to get i almost had this glove one time it was yeah it's uh the, 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 this one's annoying I, I i will say that so basically you need 150 slaps to get the trap glove because you will be using the brick glove to obtain it and what you're going to be doing with the brick glove is placing 1000 legos yep 1000 legos that's a lot of legos as you can see you can only place one Lego every five seconds, and you need to place 1,000 of them to get the trap glove. And if you die or leave the game, then it resets your progress, and it's it's very sad for you, honestly. So I did the calculations, and this glove takes about one hour and 23 minutes to get if you're non-stop placing Legos the entire time. So for most people, this will take about an hour and 30 minutes of non-stop non Lego placing to obtain this glove. So in so if you don't have an hour and a half on your hands, then do not try to get this glove because it takes an hour and a half, maybe longer to get. So yeah, just try not... So yeah, you should only try to get this glove if you have time. I made a video on how to get it get it so make sure to check that out if you need some tips and tricks the comments also have some good tips and tricks too so make sure to check out the comments too for additional tips that will help you get the trap glove in my opinion the trap glove isn't really worth it because all you do is place down an invisible bear trap that freezes people for for a decent amount of time i don't know if, if you want to try to get it sure go ahead but yeah, just be warned, it takes an hour and 30 minutes to non-stop Lego placing, and you have to not die. The next glove is the Orbit Glove, and you need the You Monster Badge. You have to kill Bob, which is lame, because Bob just wants friends, and you decided to kill him with the Cube of Death. Like, how dare you? That's just rude. So how you kill Bob is pretty simple. If Bob is chasing you, uh, you'll see the word save yourself uh, written in red in the sky. So you're going to want to run over to this island over here with the signs if Bob is chasing you. 
and there'll be a little uh, black circle here. You're gonna want to make Bob run into the cube of death, and if Bob touches the cube of death, he will die, he will disintegrate, you, which is really rude of you, because he just wanted to be your friend and you killed him with the cube of death. So I don't know, that's just really rude. And last but not least for now, we have the hybrid badge, which lets you toggle between four different things with the push of a button. How cool is that, bros? <laughs> Anyways, to get this lovely looking glove, you need the prolonged anger badge. To get that, you need the rage glove. Basically, you have to stay in rage mode with the rage glove for a whole minute, which again, is really easy to do in a private server. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Stay in rage mode for a whole minute and you get the glove pretty simple. Next glove we have up here is the Slapple Glove. Now to get this one, you see that tree way over there? A golden glove will spawn on that tree, has a small chance to spawn on it every so often. And if you pick up that golden, golden glove, you get this beautiful Slapple Glove, which is pretty gnarly, if I do say so myself. Next glove we have is the Disarm Glove, where, which is a pretty disarming glove, if I do say so myself. <laughs> to get this, you have to get 19 kills with Reaper. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. To so get 19 kills with the Reaper Glove, and you get this. Pretty shrimple. Next up, we have the Dominance Glove, so you can assert your dominance on those nerds. Um, this one is also pretty simple, you just gotta win a game of Battle Royale. Or Slap Royale, I should say, sorry, I got Fortnite on the brain. Next up, we have the Link Glove, now this one is pretty simple to get. All you have to do is equip the Arrow Glove for the first time, and as soon as you equip it, you get the Link Glove. So basically, get 20,000 slaps, then click the Arrow Glove, which is located, located right here behind the Golden Boy Eye, and you get it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's almost like a two-for-one kind of deal, which is pretty cool. Next up, we have the Chain Lightning Glove, which is a pretty cool one. However, obtaining this is kind of complicated, so I would, so I, although I have a video, a detailed video on how to get this glove, um, all made already, so I would suggest click, click the video on, on the top of your screen, that will take you to the Chain Lightning Glove tutorial, where it will tell you everything you need to know on how to get it. Next up, we have the Rattle Bones Glove, and this one can be obtained by just getting 1,000 candies on the Halloween event. Now, as of the time I'm recording this video, the Halloween event is not going, so you're going to have to wait until the Halloween event, which will be a while. I'm sorry. But yep, yeah, just collect some candy and you'll be good. Next up, we have the Charge Glove. Now, to get this one, you got to get five kills in Battle Royale and win Battle Royale. So you have to win a game of Battle Royale with five or more kills. There's not really much else I can say to help. I mean, you just gotta get good at the game, really. That's that's really all. Honestly, I hate Battle Royale. I would love I would love to give you more tips, but I hate Battle Royale and I I avoid it whenever I can. But anyways, yeah, just win game with five or more kills and you got it. Next up, you've got Tycoon, and to get this one, you're gonna have to become the master of plates. Now to become the plate master, you gotta stand on the plate for 10 minutes straight in a server that has seven or more people. So if you're doing it on a private server, it will not count. And the server has to have seven, no. So you can obtain this in a private server. However, you need seven or more people in the server, which includes you. And also you can't join a public, a dead public server and get this because there has to be seven or more people for it to count. So you just gotta stand on the plate for 10 minutes without falling off and you'll get the glove. Next up we have the confusion glove and now uh, getting this one is a little confusing but I'll try to explain it the best I can. You gotta get the what badge. So you have to be using, to get this glove you have to use the spin glove. Then you have to get slapped by a reaper and then blow up a tycoon and then get hit by a bus right after blowing up the tycoon. And the reaper timer has to be 5 seconds or below. 
So once the Reaper timer hits five seconds, you want to blow up the Tycoon and get hit by a bus and you get it. It's a little complicated, but it is what it is. I also have a video uh, on the top right if you want to click that, which is a more detailed walkthrough if you want to check that out as well. Okay, next up is the Glitch Glove. Now this one is, is kind of easy to obtain, but it can be a little difficult at times. To get the glitch glove, you're going to have to equip the error glove and you're going to have to pick up either the jet orb or the phase orb while you have the error glove equipped. So it can be a little difficult because the orbs are a pretty rare chance. So if I were you, I would suggest just playing the game like normal. And if you see a jet fly over your head, reset as fast as you can, equip error and go pick up the jet orb that spawns from the jet. So that's really my favorite strategy of getting it but yeah okay next up we have the snowball glove basically you're gonna have to pick up a present and the present will have a one in 200 chance of you getting of you getting the uh, engineer's gift badge which gives you the snowball glove yeah Next up, we have the Elude Glove. Now, this one is kind of complicated, and I don't have any video good videos on this yet. But maybe, hey, if you want to see an Elude video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, and I'll make a more detailed walkthrough. But basically, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to find a, um, a keypad on the map. And they can spawn either on the back of the Moyai Island tree or the back of the Slapple Island tree. You're gonna have to type in the code, and you're gonna have to type in a special code, which is different depending on how many players are in your server. And then you'll get sent to a maze, and you gotta collect all four items in the maze uh, within the time limit to get the glove. Now, again, I don't have a video on this at the moment, but if you want to see a detailed walkthrough, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll make sure to get to it at some point sooner or later. Uh, for now, I would suggest using the wiki. Uh, I have a link to the uh, I have a link to the wiki right here in the description. The wiki has a map that you can use that will help you uh, get through the maze. The map is pretty helpful, so I would definitely recommend using their map if you uh, if you want to get this glove. Next up, we have the RNG glove, and this one is pretty easy to get, but it will take a little bit of time. Basically, you're gonna have to equip the dice glove, which is right here. And then you're going to have to slap people until you get the badge, essentially. Because the Dice Glove deals a random amount of power every time you slap someone. You have to get the ma hit someone with the maximum amount of power you can get with the Dice Glove, which is 100 power. If you hit someone with 100 power, you get the RNG Glove. So it's pretty easy, but it's just time consuming. You just got to keep slapping people with the Dice Glove and eventually you'll get it. Next up, we have the fish glove. You know what you have to do for this one? You're gonna have to sleep for an hour straight. Man, this is—it's a bit of a snooze fest, if I'm gonna be honest. Just listening to <laughs> for an hour straight, but it is definitely worth it because fish is a pretty awesome glove. Now, I do have a tip actually. If you can get someone with a balloon glove to slap you up to this location right here, that is a really probably one of the best spots in the game to uh to sleep because you're so high up you can't really get hit by anyone spectators won't be able to re get up to you and uh and uh, push you off because they have a max fly distance and they can't fly high enough to reach you and really the only person the only people that can actually reach you are other balloon gloves next up we have the moyai glove and to get this one you're gonna have to have the trap glove all you have to do to get the Moyai Glove is place a trap of the trap glove and then stamp in your own trap. And then you get the Moyai Glove. Yep. That's it. Now the hardest part about getting this is really getting the trap glove itself. I have a video on how to get the trap on how to get the trap glove right here if you want to click on it, which will give you a more detailed walkthrough on how to get it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Next up, we have the Obby Glove, and to get this one, you're going to have to have the Mega Rock Glove, or the Custom. Both Mega Rock and Custom will work when obtaining this glove. Basically, all you have to do is sit there for uh, a while until you absorb 10 different players 
as the mega rock so you're just gonna have to basically sit there a while and eventually p uh 10 different people are gonna hit you run into you sooner or later and then you'll get the badge again it has to be 10 different people you can't have someone on your friends list like walk into it repeatedly it only works once per person so just sit there for a while do not unrock because if you if you if you get rid of the rock it will reset your progress and you're gonna have to get absorb 10 more people so just stay uh, afk as a rock for a while and you'll you'll get it pretty easy next up we have the voodoo glove and this one's actually pretty easy to get it's also just pretty time consuming what you have to do for this one is you have to become a little ghosty ghost and uh stay invisible for one whole hour straight so it's pretty easy because you'll be invisible so no one will really know that you're trying to get this badge the only thing you have to look out for are other ghost users so just make sure to stay away from other ghosts because they can see you and you'll be good next up we have the goofy goober glove we're all goofy goobers yeah so basically to get this one you have to get slapped you have to get slapped by a confusion glove and then get you have to get slapped by a confusion glove and then get slapped by a goofy goober glove and then you get the little goofy goober badge which makes you become a goofy goober and then you get the goofy goober glove oh I am, that's a mouthful i'm gonna have to take a breather after saying that oh the next glove on the agenda is the leash glove now this one is actually pretty hard to get if i'm gonna be completely honest with you basically you have to have an entire 14 player server with all of them using the cult club which is why it's so hard because it's hard to get 14 people to all use the same glove but if you can do it then that's pretty gnarly now the best way to do this is actually the slap battles group and the slap battles discord they usually have people that are trying to get this and they'll invite you to your private to their private server so just uh, look for someone who has a private server who's trying to get the leash glove join their private server and usually a bunch of people join those servers pretty quickly so just join their server and hopefully you get a bunch of good people in your server to get the glove that's the way i'd recommend doing it anyway but you can do whatever you want i suppose next up we have the flame orang and for this one you're gonna have to get a little underkill so this one, you're going to have to kill five different overkill users with the boomerang glove. So in order to get kills with the boomerang, you're really going to have to like stand near the edge of the map like this and slap people away from the edge, which will eventually make them come back and fly off the edge. Now, it does not have to be in a single life, but it does have to be in a single server. So if you leave the game or get disconnected, you're going to have to get five more overkills with the boomerang glove. So, but you can die. If you die, it does not reset your progress. It just has to be five, it just has to be in the same server. So do not leave the game. Next up, we've got the kinetic glove. Now, this one is a little time consuming to get but it is a lot easier to do on a private server so if you have if you have a friend in the private server would recommend doing it that way basically for this one you're gonna have to get slapped 100 times and use the stun ability 50 times so let me say that again you gotta get slapped 100 times and use your stun ability 50 times now if you have a friend who has the moy eye glove i would highly recommend you have them use it because every shockwave from the Moyai counts as getting slapped at one time. So if you just stand in the Moyai effect, it'll count as getting slapped like all the time. So that'll, that'll take care of getting slapped 100 times really easily and quickly. The hardest part, the longest part is going to be using the ability 50 times. Next up, we have the Berserk of the oh. <laughs> To survive, to sur to get the Berserk Glove, you have to survive the free fully charged kinetic blast in a single light. Okay, next up is the Sparky Glove. Now, this one is also pretty hard to get, and I'm not, I'm not going to show you because I need friends. Uh, I need friends to show you how to get this. And uh, let's be honest, I don't have any friends. <laughs> I believe I have a video on how to get this already, so if you want, you can click the video on the top of the screen right here, and I'll give you a more detailed explanation on how to get it. 
Okay, next up we have the boogie glove, and it's gonna be just, it's gonna be, the boogie glove is pretty hard to get. It's like just as hard to get as the uh, leash glove, if I'm gonna be honest, but you have to have an entire 14 player server slash e dancing. Yep, you heard me right. They all have to be slash e dancing, and as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure they have to be in the arena too for it to count. If they are dancing in the lobby, I do not think it counts. So all the people that are dancing have to be dancing in the arena. So just keep that keep that in mind. Okay, next up we have the recall glove. Basically, you're gonna have to re Uno reverse and Uno reverse, which will have a small chance of sending you to the ruins. And then you'll have to do a little quiz. And then assignment says, and then you get the glove. I have a more detailed video on how to get it right here. If you want to click on it, it has a cheat sheet for all the all the questions and stuff as well. So if you want to use the cheat sheet, that's really useful for for you. So it's an e just an easy way to get all all the answers like that. And next up, we have the earthquake badge or quake or whatever you want to call it. So to get this one, you have to fully charge Berserk's ability. You got to go into the full ah uh, mode, and then you got to get knocked back by a woe shockwave into a fully charged home run swing while you're still ragdoll so it's it takes a little bit of coordination oh and it is not obtainable in private servers so you are going to have to do this in a public server but what you're going to have yeah so basically all you have to do fully charge the ability once you're fully charged get knocked back by the woe ability and then uh, get hit into a fully charged home run swing next up we have the psycho badge now to get this one you're gonna have to go back to the ruin so in order to get this one, you're going to have to Uno Reverse and Uno Reverse, and get which will have a small chance to send you to the ruins. And But instead of doing the quiz, go to the opposite side of the area, so the area opposite of the guy where the, who gives the quiz is, and then do complete the parkour course to get the Psycho Badge. Now, once you get to the end of the parkour course and it looks like it's a dead end, you're actually going to have to go all the way back to the ruins to grab the glove. So you gotta go all the way to the end and then all the way back to where the ruins spawn is to get the glove. Next up is the Kraken Badge. And to get this one, you're gonna have to do a little bit of a boss fight. So to get to the boss fight, you have to use the Squid Glove. And while you're using the Squid Glove, you gotta get knocked off by a Fish Glove. So if you get knocked off by a Fish Glove while you're using the Squid Glove, instead of dying like you normally would, you get sent to a funny boss battle instead where you can die even harder. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness though, it's the boss battle isn't too too bad. And if you slap if there are two tentacles right next to each other, you can slap right in between of the tentacles and it'll hit both of them at the same time, making you basically deal double the damage. Next up we have the counter glove, and for this one you're gonna have to go back to the maze. To get to get into the maze, you're gonna have to go find a keypad and type in the code, and then you're gonna have to find the lever that spawns inside the maze. I do not yet, just like the Elude Glove, I do not yet have a detailed tutorial on how to get this, and this video is, is mostly short tutorials, and explaining how to get this would be a little too long for this video, but if you want me to make a longer tutorial on how to get this in the future, just let me know and I'll get to it when I get when I can. Uh, I have a link to the wiki in the description below. The wiki has a really has a lot of really good techniques on how to get this, and ha they have a map and everything. So I definitely recommend checking out the wiki if you do not have this glove yet. Next up, we have the hammer glove, and this one is pretty simple to get. Basically, every time someone spawns in a little turret with the engineer glove as a chance of spawning in a toolbox. You gotta click the toolbox and you get the badge. Pretty simple. Next up, we've got the Rob Glove. Now for this one, you're gonna have to rob the bomb. <laughs> but to, to get to the boss battle, you are going to have to do a few things. So you're gonna have to get together with a group of people and challenge the Bob boss fight. To get to the Bob boss fight, what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to have a Tycoon user, a God Hand user, a Killstreak, and a Reaper. 
So basically, you're going to want to have a Bob user spawn Bob on any one of these guys. It can be on any, it can be on any one of them. It doesn't matter who it is. And then uh, the Bob user can either can reset and turn into God Hand Killstreak or Reaper or Tycoon, whichever one you need. And to get on, so uh, then the God Hand is going to have to use his ability while all for, while everyone else is standing right next to Bob. If everyone's standing close enough to Bob when God Hand uses his ability, then. Then it will spawn in a giant portal, which will suck up everyone, and you'll be ch you'll challenge the Bob boss fight. The Bob boss fight is pretty difficult, but it is definitely doable. Next up, we have the Rhythm Glove. Now, this one can be obtained if you have the Boogie Glove. Basically, what you're gonna have to do with the Boogie Glove is you are gonna have to use your ability and slap ten different people uh, who are dancing under your disco ball so basically just walk around disco random people you've never slapped before and then slap them so slap them silly while they're dancing like a like i don't know some youngin some tiktoker so while they're dancing like a tiktoker just slap them and it'll count towards the 10 goal you gotta slap 10 different people it cannot be like your friend or the same person 10 times it has to be 10 different people that are under the effect of the boogie glove Next up is the Rojo Badge, and this can be obtained by getting the C in the Dark Badge. So basically, to get the C in the Dark Badge, you're going to have to have the Nightmare Effect on you, the Reaper Effect on you, and you have to be chased by Bob. And then while you have all those effects on you, you have to kill Bob with the Cube of Death. Now this can be difficult because your screen will basically be pitch black when you have all these effects on you at the same time. But you can use a glove that gives off light to kind of help you with that. For example, I would recommend using the golden glove as the golden glove uh, gives off light and the ability actually lightens up your screen quite a bit, which will help you see for a short amount of time. So I would definitely recommend using the golden glove. Once you have all the effects on you, use the golden glove ability so you can see in the dark and then uh, go to the cube of death and kill Bob and you'll get the badge. Next up, we have the Hitman Badge, and this one is actually pretty easy to get. All you need is the Track Glove. Now basically, you just have to get 10 kills with the Track Glove in a single life, which is super easy to do. And it can be the same person 10 times. So if you have a friend, you can have them run into your uh, Glove ability 10 times and like explode off the edge and yeah. You also need the Court Evidence Badge, which is pretty easy to get. There's a there's the dead tutorial guy underneath where spawn is. You can click on the knife and you get the badge. It's pretty pretty shrimple. Next up we have the retro badge. Now for this one you're gonna have to go into the parkour course. Now to get to the parkour course, you're gonna have to have the recall badge. So so you're gonna use the recall glove. And you're going to have to get sucked up by the glitch ability, which is this ability right here. While you're in that ability, you got to recall out of the ability and then get slapped by an error. And then the error, instead of killing you, will teleport you to the parkour course. Now, if I remember correctly, I do believe I have a video on this glove as well. So if you'd like a video on how to complete the parkour course, click right here and uh, that'll help you out a lot, I hope get complete the parkour course okay next up we have the null badge and get this one you're gonna have to go to the null zone now a portal to the null zone gets created whenever so whenever rob and bob collide which creates a funny purple black hole which will suck up everyone near it and to get teleported to the null zone you have to use the default glove so as the portal is being made go equip the default glove and run into the black hole which will teleport you to the null zone now you're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff in the null zone to get this glove i have a detailed tutorial on how to get that right here click on that video and i'll tell you everything you need to know about the null zone next up we have the lure glove and this one you're gonna have to have the leash glove to get basically with the leash glove you're gonna have to leash a squid a fish and a kraken user all at the same time so once you have the squid kraken and fish user all leashed up at once 
You are a certified fisherman. Congratulations. You get rewarded with your nice fishing badge, which would be the lure glove. Next up, we have Tinkerer. And to get this one, you're gonna have to go back to the Null Zone again, man. Man, uh, man, that Null Zone is so annoying. Anyways, I have a detailed tutorial on how to get this as well. So click the click the video up there to figure out to see how to get it. Okay, next up we have the Necromancer Glove. Now this is a Halloween exclusive, so as the time I'm recording this video, it is impossible to get. But basically, to get the Necromancer Glove, all you gotta do is get 2,000 candy, and you have to get infected, which I'm pretty sure almost everyone in this game has the infected badge so really the hardest thing to do is get 2,000 candy which really isn't that hard it's just time consuming so you're gonna have to wait until Halloween though to get it which is a little unfortunate next up we have the alchemist glove now to get this one you're going to have to kill 10 different people with the infected ability now please note the kills have to be with the the kills have to be with the plague ability effect. Kills by knocking people off the edge do not count. So if you knock someone off the edge, it will not count towards your 10 kills. You have to get 10 kills with the uh, poison over time effect. So you got to sneeze all over everyone. Make sure they die. And if they get rid of their effect, go sneeze on them again. Just keep sneezing on them repeatedly until they die of all that moisture from all the times you sneezed on them. It's disgusting. I understand why. I would die too if I got sneezed on that many times, man. Well, yeah, just keep sneezing on people and eventually you'll get it. Now, a good tip maybe to make sure you don't die because you do have to do it in a single life is if you can get a guardian angel on a cloud, like if you give a cloud to a guardian angel, the guardian angel can keep giving you infinite revives essentially. Next up, we have the druid glove. And to get this one, you're going to have to have the Alchemist Glove. So you guys, if you have the Alchemist Glove, get ready to cook, ladies and gentlemen, because it's time for the first annual Alchemist Bake Off. Now, for today's recipe, you're going to have to make free, make a potion using three wild vines, one blood rose, one dark root, one elderwood, and one jade stone. Put them all together to make yourself a wonderful concoction that will teleport you to a cool tower defense inside of slab battles. Once you beat the tower defense, you get the glove. But if you lose, you don't get the glove. That's all there is to it. And you're going to have to make another one of these potions. So complete the tower defense and you get it. Pretty easy. Okay, next up we have the Jester Glove. And for this one, you're going to have to have the Elude Glove. Now in order... Now, in order to get this one, you're going to have to get slapped and teleport onto the Cube of Death first try. So, basically, yeah, you're just going to have to die. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I like dying, too. Wait. <laughs> so, if you don't get teleported onto the Cube of Death, just reset and get slapped again. And you just got to keep repeating the process until you teleport onto the Cube of Death and die, which will give you the Jester Badge pretty shrimple next up we have the scythe badge and this one will require you to get a make another concoction using the alchemist glove so get ready for the next alchemist bake-off now for today's recipe you're gonna need two plain flowers and one hazel lily make put those all together to make a corrupted fields potion which teleports you to yet another tower defense Complete the tower defense to get the badge. And yeah, that's all there is to it. So you just gotta make the concoction, do the tower defense, and you get the glove. And finally, last, but certainly not least, we have the Santa glove, which is brand new when I'm recording this video. To get to the get the Santa glove, you have to get 40 epic Christmas swag points. So in order to get 40 epic Christmas swag points, you gotta do the new Snowball Smash event, which is right next to the no one-shot portal right here. So you just gotta play this mode until you eventually get 40 epic Christmas swag points. I don't, I don't know why they're called epic Christmas swag points, but they are epic Christmas swag points, if I do say so myself. 
All right, and to get the last glove as of the time I'm recording this video, the ice skate glove, here is what you're gonna do. So basically, to get this glove, you're just gonna have to stand on the ice created by this glove until you get frozen. It's, it is literally as simple as that. So you just gotta stand on the ice that gets created by this glove and you get it. It's really easy to get. And that is every glove in the game for uh, as of the time I'm recording this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, make sure to leave a like on this video so more people can find it. And while you're new here, why not subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our videos like this one. And I will see you in the next video. Next glove we have up on the list is the Blasphemy Glove. Okay, so to get this one, you're going to need the bus glove, but you don't actually need the bus glove because you can also just get hit by the bus. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is get hit by a bus, and uh, whenever you get hit by a bus, you have a 1% chance of getting this glove. So it's just another stupid RNG-based glove. <laughs> Next up, we have the Pan Glove. Oh my goodness, which is a Scout TF2 reference. To get this one, you're going to have to collect the free two plushies and the alchemist hood to get this glove. Now, the alchemist hood can be found in the elude maze right next to the map, as you can see in this picture right here. It's literally just take the path right next to the map and you'll, you'll get there. It's super easy. Uh, the next one, the bob plushie can be found in the ruins which you can get to by reversing a uno, rever uno reversing and uno reverse. And uh, Bob is on one of the high up islands right next to the obby. And finally, the Rob plushie can be found in the jail area, just chilling on a table like an absolute giga chad in the null zone. Now, if you don't know how to get to the null zone, you got to use the default glove and have the Bob and, Ro Bob and Rob have to collide, make a portal, and then you use the default glove you get sucked in and you get teleported there. You gotta get pretty far to get to the jail cell, but it's really not that hard to get to if you know what you're doing. And I also have a null zone video if you wanna go check that out too. That might help you get to the jail cell a lot easier. So anyways guys, that's gonna be all the gloves for now in version free of how to get every single glove in the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I know it wasn't a uh, it wasn't as detailed as I would have liked, but there were a lot of gloves I had to go through and I am pretty busy, so I don't have too much time to work on this, but I hope this helps you out anyway. If it helps you out, make sure to leave a like on this video to let me know that you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, why not subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos like this one, and I will see you in the next video. Meow.